Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this Linux tutorial video I'll be showing you how to set up a Nextcloud device on a Raspberry Pi with an external USB drive for the data storage. I've downloaded a copy of Raspbian Lite which I'm going to write on this 8GB micro SD card. There's a feature in GNOME Discs that allows you to restore the Raspberry Pi image directly on to the micro SD card, so you can do that for a graphical user interface instead of using the dd command. And this part of the tutorial applies to Linux. If you're using Windows, there are other ways of copying the image across. I have Raspbian up and running now, and I've SSH'd onto the device. You do need to enable SSH for the Raspberry config, but that part falls outside of this tutorial. Alternatively, you could do this directly from the device. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to start with installing a firewall onto the Raspberry Pi. That's with sudo apt install ufw. I need to enable a couple of basic rules to be able to access the Raspberry Pi from my LAN. So that is with the SSH and port 80 HTTP. You can also add rules for HTTPS port 443 and narrow it down to specific IP addresses you want to access from the internet. But I have a further tutorial on this linked in the video description. I want to install Nextcloud from a snap package. But there's a prerequisite for that on Raspbian that I have to install the snap daemon. So I need to do sudo apt install snap d. Now I can actually install Nextcloud with sudo snap install nextcloud. And that installs all the dependencies for Nextcloud, including the Apache web server and PHP. I've added an external USB 3 drive to store my data for my Nextcloud. This is it here, it's a Seagate drive, a 4 terabytes. Perhaps a bit overkill, but that's kind of what I had floating around at the minute and what was spare. I want to be able to mount this permanently at boot up. And to do that, I'm going to mount it under the slash media folder because the snaps will have access to the media folder. I'll make a new folder with sudo mkdir slash media slash next data. I'm not sure if I have to take ownership of this or not, but I'm going to do this just in case. sudo chown my username dash h capital R slash media slash next data. Now I need the unique identifier for the USB drive, so that's sudo block ID or blk ID. So this drive here slash dev slash sda1, and I've labeled it already as next data. I did that at time of formatting, and it is of type extension 4. Again, I did that at time of formatting, which I did for my main desktop, and I've not shown that in this part of the video. So with your favourite text editor, I'm going for nano, so sudo nano slash etc slash fstab. Add a new line with uuid, uh, the unique identifier I've just taken from block ID, so you can do that with Control shift c and Control shift v to paste it. The mount point for me that is slash media slash next data. So I think it should actually be a tab instead of spaces here. So then type in auto, then tab, no suid, comma, no dev, no fail, tab, zero, tab, zero. Add a new line, control X, yes, save. Then I could do sudo mount dash A. And fingers crossed, that should work perfectly. And it does. That is set to make the Raspberry Pi mount the USB drive at boot up if it's connected. Now, if it is not connected, it shouldn't error, and the boot up should continue without causing any error messages. Now we need to change the configuration in Nextcloud. And you do that with your favourite text editor again, so sudo nano slash var slash snap slash nextcloud slash current slash nextcloud slash config slash autoconfig.php. I'll comment out the old line with two forward slashes. You recreate the directory variable as it was before. So that's directory equals greater than, and in single quotes, the name of the folder, ending with a comma. So control X, Y, enter. Now we have to restart the PHP service with sudo snap restart nextcloud.php fpm. And that should all be it. Now we can actually go into Nextcloud. 
If you happen to have gone into Nextcloud and started up your setup, and maybe copied in a few files, what you have to do instead is disable the Nextcloud service. With sudo snap disable Nextcloud, then you copy over the existing data to a new location and then restart or re-enable Nextcloud. I'll leave a link to the instructions on that particular part. With your favorite browser, type in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. And then you have to create a username and password. Well, that completes the basic install of Nextcloud. The device is available, I have one user account, and if you would like the app for your smartphone, you have the option of getting it from F-Droid, the Play Store, or the Apple App Store. You can add new user accounts. Well, now let's move on to securing this a bit further because all we have is HTTP. We don't have HTTPS out of the box. So you can do sudo nextcloud.enable-https. You can either do a let's encrypt certificate or generate a self-signed certificate. Okay, that was an issue with the path locations, which I didn't come across when I tried the Ubuntu server version of Nextcloud. But if you do sudo forward slash snap forward slash bin forward slash nextcloud dot enable hyphen HTTPS, then I'm going to generate a self-signed certificate. I hope this error is going to be okay. Hmm. Well, okay, that's promising. I've got a certificate error. Something you might want to do is change the port number for HTTPS. And you can do that with the command sudo snap set nextcloud ports.https equals and whatever port you want to change it to. Now you can point to the browser to a new location. So that is everything now configured on the Raspberry Pi. Now to actually make use of the device and synchronize some files. And what better way to demonstrate that with the Nextcloud client. So I've installed this for a snap. So put in the server address, so that'll be your IP address or domain. If you have used the different ports, then you can put colon and the appropriate port. For example, colon 441. And you go next. Accept any certificate warnings that you get. Type in the appropriate username and password. I'm going to choose what to sync and not actually synchronize anything. So yeah, blank it all. And I'm going to start with a clean sync. So we'll connect for now. And then go to finish. So yeah, let's just remove that sync connection again. Add a new sync connection and I'll choose the folders manually from my system. So I could do my documents folder. Choose that. Next and we'll set it to a destination folder of the documents folder that is already pre-configured on Nextcloud. Okay, we'll add the sync connection. And that's got quite a few files left. So anyway, if I take a look at the progress, I can see that synchronization has now started to take place. I suppose I could try and see what these files are like. All right. Well, it actually goes and downloads the file rather than offering to preview it, but hey. This is a cloud setup on a Raspberry Pi hosted on my home network. Well, that's how to set up a Nextcloud on a Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.